we are at the Tony Fast School of Crazy Bale Handling. I'm Tony Fast, and my family has been blessed to be able to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. A lot has changed in those 100 years, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior Jesus Christ. Morning, windmill. Well, I want to try and get this truck finished. Al's on his way over here at 7 this morning. Uh, we want to try and go get that uh, trucks loaded up on the frost this morning. We're going to get this windshield finished up. Got one more bracket to put on with the visor and mount that all up. And then I think this truck's ready to go. I can see clearly now my glass. Ooh. I am on my way over to get uh, the loader warmed up and the uh, truck fired up. So, Al's putting fuel in, he's gonna grab that other trailer, bring that over as well, so we have a grain trailer there if we need to swap back to hauling grain here in a day or two. Four-wheeler started, loader started, truck started. We're three for three this morning. Springs are coming. So I put this thing back on. They're always falling off. This is that slip plate. I just put it back on. That's so we don't have to put any grease in our fifth wheel plate. Guys have commented about, oh, you don't have enough grease in your fifth wheel plate. Well, that poly disc goes on there. And that is what uh, prevents the friction on the fifth wheel. So they're kind of a pain in the butt because those metal clips that hold them on sometimes fall off and uh, I don't know, but it's still better than putting grease on. Boy, did that truck last night make a mess. That's not going anywhere. stretch is the narrowest and roughest, well, it's not as rough as some of the other road further back, but they're going to finally start working on that and widen out like this rest of this road. And then all in hay will be glorious.
I talked to Travis on the phone earlier, he said the yard is soft. So, might be a little hairy getting in there with these trucks. Well, let's see how it goes. like plant wants us in a different haystack so that's good at least we'll get a truck stuck here I don't think good morning we made it home with the trucks last night and uh, got them parked back at the buildings it did not freeze last night so we can't go home more hay so I quit filming yesterday when I was driving home just um, got news that my uncle uh, passed away he about two weeks ago not quite um, had a brain bleed they called it kind of like a stroke and he ended up in the hospital obviously and um, yesterday his whole family got to be there and tell him goodbye he's also as a farmer was a farmer um, his son farms and we're very close with them and it's gonna be hard for uh, a lot of people in the area He, uh, very godly man, has a great testimony, um, and leaves hope behind for all of us that we know we're going to see him again in heaven. No, no, when your time is up, guys, you have no idea when anything's going to happen to you, and I'm fine with that because I have hope. That when I die, I'm going to see my Savior. I'm going to see see Him again. I'm going to see lots of other family that I know are Christians that passed away before Him. And uh, yeah, just don't take anything for granted. Every day, live it knowing that it could be your last. And be thankful for those that are around you. And don't forget to tell them that you love them. So like I said, it's too warm for the ground to freeze. And I can't haul hay, so I'm gonna take the side by side of my pickup up north, those grain bags, go run in there with a the four wheeler side by side and see what the road conditions are like up there and see if, it's gonna, if there's snow that can be plowed when the ground freezes and haul those grain bags out. It's supposed to get cold this weekend, so I might work out, I might not. I might have to use a grain cart to haul that all out to the trucks. I don't know, so let's go find out. All right, this is the road in from the north that I'm hoping to come out with, hopefully with trucks. Don't look bad right here, but let's unload the four-wheeler. We'll go up in there and see what it looks like. Well, this route is not gonna work. The road is right here. The edges of the road, the grass are higher than the road, because it's just a field road. It was never built up as like a county road or nothing like that, so. When the wind blows, road drifts in level with the grass, road's plugged. And there's like water, water sitting over here across the road. That's just not going to happen. So let's go look for another route. These spots are definitely going to be some of the problem on uh, getting the road we're going to be taking out of here. But if I can get these to drain off, ice goes down, ice melts away, the water runs off, and the ground freezes, we'll be in good shape. But I had to open up this trench. Good thing I got my 
Marriott water boots on. I can uh, kind of get this stuff moving and hopefully we'll be in better shape. Well, I made it up here to the grain bags. This one has water up against the opening. Luckily, that bottom side of the bag is folded up over the top of ways, so water should not be getting in there. I did dig down in there through the hole that the raccoon dug through there. Got to the bottom of the bag, it is not wet yet. So, I chipped out a bunch of ice here, trying to get this water to run away, get it down away from the opening of the bag. The other bag here has a bunch of snow in front of it. It's not melting yet. So, hopefully that's gonna be fine. Got a couple more days, or another day I think, of warm weather, and then it's not supposed to be as warm. So this melting should stop. Hopefully the grain stays fine. I think of the plan is gonna be, the only way to get grain out of here is gonna be with our grain cart. And we can cut down most of the road. We might have to pull into a field in a few spots, but we can get this grain out of here, get it on trucks, get it down into the bin yard, and store it. I would have loved to have hauled all this stuff right after harvest, when uh, before all this snow and stuff, but markets haven't exactly done what we were hoping they would do yet, and the uh, price just isn't really there that I want a comfortable sell on the grain yet, so if it gets up a little more, I'll at least turn a profit on the grain. Yeah, it'd be a good thing, right? That's what we're here to do, feed the world, make a little money on the side, so yeah, well, if there's nothing else I can do here, let's go uh, back to the pickup. Well, we've got a frozen ground and a frozen windshield. We're gonna go load up some hay. And uh, got a truck coming that's heading back out to Michigan with alfalfa and uh, gonna load up the stack on our two trailers that are that is still sitting out in the field so I'm gonna grab a heavier coat because if I got to run on the four-wheeler across the field it's a little windy today a little chilly have enough hay for two pole loads on those trucks so I just put the bales in the back of the trailer that way I can unhitch the trailers if I need to. And the truck just showed up so let's go get him loaded. Well I ran home after I loaded that truck, grabbed some lunch, worked in the office for a while, and now I got another truck waiting for me to load. Well, good morning. It is uh, a little chilly this morning, but we're gonna finish loading the same truck up and take off down to uh, Travis's with it to the ranch. And uh, yeah, there's supposed to be seven inches of snow tonight, tomorrow, into Sunday, so let's get this, uh, some of this hay haul before the weather turns bad again. I really wish we were hauling grain bags out, but just just not enough time right now. Well, maybe next week, we go move some snow and uh, haul that out. New clean windshields, loving it.
to say something. Oh. I didn't know if it was going. Oh yeah, it's going. <laughs> we are at the Tony Fast School of Crazy Bail Handling. You say that, and I'm just gonna absolutely you can, like... Don't, don't grab that one. You'll have to grab a top one. That is a top one. No. If that's sitting on the corner of that one, oh. and the whole stack will fall right on the loader. If you... So grab the very top one here? Yep. I see what you mean. You got Siri talking to me in my ear now on my ear pods, or just whatever you said. Oh. <laughs> And then for this one, I want the strings back, so you'll have to flip it, flow them over, so it'll just back up and then just drop it, and a lot of times it'll fall to two rotations, and then you can just tip it up. Like this now? Yep, just drop it. This high? Yep. So now rotate it at the bridge, right? Yep. Good thing I had those first two bales to practice on. What amazes me is that you put three bales on a three car to pick up every day for 30 years. It's a one ton. Oh, it is one ton. And I just back up and get right on the bottom. Feet checking before I get before he gets bad or not low enough. Yeah, just a chapter man. You're uh, this what's, is what's actually what's Bodie's favorite superhero. Chapter man. <laughs> <laughs> he has this green blanket that he wears at Grandma and Grandma instead of calling himself Chapter Man. <laughs> That's not a thing. Well, Travis is picking up his loaded. He's gonna go back to feed him. Cows, he'll flake those bales off the side of that pickup. And if I had time, I'd take you along for that. But I got a phone call, I gotta go and unload or load another truck of hay up at the yard three hours away. So maybe a turn and burn kind of load today. Let's go home. Yeah. All right, just made it back to the bins here. Truck is waiting for me to load. Let's go load them up. truck loaded that's heading to the dairy. I'm going to load up this uh, white truck, the rest of it. I finished loading out of the field and still need to put on, what, one, seven stacks of bales? 21 bales on this load yet, so it's ready to head to the ranch and uh, then go home. Now that that's loaded, another truck just showed up and I am, what, 12 bales short of loading him. So I gotta take those four stacks off the front deck of that trailer, put it on his trailer. 
All right, just got Stan loaded, and he's out of here. I'm out of here. I'm going home. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And I just want to encourage you that if you have uh, a feeling of no hope right now, that uh, you just feel lost, the one place that you're going to find true hope is in Christ Jesus and having a relationship with Him. It's not by works. It's having a relationship with Him. Reading the Bible, praying to Him, um, asking Him for guidance in your life. That's where my hope comes from. And it doesn't matter what religion you are, what you, um, what traditions you use or your family has. It's about relationships with Christ, with loving Christ, loving others. And it's by God's grace that we are saved. So thanks for watching again, guys. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video.